Good morning. Welcome to video worship for New Hope Fizzles United Church of Christ in Glen Rock, Pennsylvania. For this first Sunday in July, July 5th. And so, welcome. I hope this worship is meaningful for you. Good morning! Good morning! Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Now that the mic is on, good morning again! Good morning. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice! Let us rejoice and be glad in it, for God is good not some of the time, but... All the time. Amen. Amen. Welcome to worship here on Communion Sunday, the fifth Sunday after Pentecost. And by way of announcements, uh, if you did not bring your own communion or uh, or need communion uh, elements, uh, raise your hand and Doug will come around and provide those for you. And looks like Doug already got all that taken care of, so that's good. Next week, I will, well, first of all, I'm overjoyed that that Ruth is here, making it in from Chicago, yes, amen, amen. I'll be going uh, back with her at the end of next week uh, to help get things ready for hopefully moving her to here permanently sometime very soon, which is also a good thing to look out for. <laughs> But anyway, so next Sunday we'll have another different video worship service uh, provided by the leadership of the Penn Central Conference. And so um, that will be back to the old way of worshiping. And then weather permitting and the virus not doing weird things to us, uh, we'll be back outside on Sunday the 19th. Please uh, look at your bulletin for other announcements, and particularly the thank you note for the generosity of giving not only to our regular offering, but also to supporting the special offerings of the denomination and for making progress on the air conditioning fund. When we do get inside, we'll really appreciate the air conditioning. So uh, if you haven't had a chance to buy a brick to cool the church yet, that's still available. And then just continue to, uh, in your generosity, of contributing to, so we can pay off the fund. I believe Ellen has an has an announcement. Yes, actually, I need actually need both of you up here since today is your 40th anniversary. 40th anniversary, yeah. Yep. And we have a little cake for you. Oh, Thank wonderful. you. Since we couldn't all partake, we just got and here's some cards that the kids had brought this morning. Cool. Thank you. And there's a gift card for you. See you, sir. And <laughs> also the flowers. So. Well, thank you. So happy thank anniversary. You Are you 40 also? <laughs> 40 and 40. Not quite that much. <laughs> 67 years today. We're not in jail, so. Let's try sing. Can we sing happy anniversary like the happy birthday one, okay? I'll see how it goes. <laughs> Happy anniversary to you. Happy anniversary to you. Happy anniversary. God bless you both. Happy anniversary to you. Well, thank you, one and all. It's really appreciated. It's so good to be able to celebrate the anniversary together. Come, let us worship the Lord. All who are able, I invite you to stand for our congregation, congregational introit. This is the day our God has made.
This is the day, this is the day that our God has made, that our God has made. We will rejoice, we will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that our God has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that our God has made. Amen, amen. I'd like to thank June once again for providing our recorded music. She's been a real blessing to us. Amen, amen. Please uh, invite those who are able to remain standing for our responsive call to worship based on the lectionary psalm for this week, verses from Psalm 145. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. The Lord is good to all, but compassionate to all the Lord has made. All your works shall give thanks to you, O Lord, and all your faithful shall bless you. To make known to all people your mighty deeds and the glorious splendor of your realm. The Lord is faithful in every word and gracious in every deed. Come, let us worship the Lord. Please remain standing for our hymn of praise, our opening hymn. Rejoice, give thanks, and sing. sing your sovereign God adore, for Christ goes from destiny and triumphs evermore. Lift up your heart, lift up your voice, rejoice again, I say. standing for our time of confession. Jesus came showing us how to live abundantly through sharing God's love with all. We do not always share as Jesus calls us to share. We come before God to ask for guidance to return to the path of discipleship so we can be the persons and community God intends for us to be. Let us pray in unison. Gracious God, we confess that too often we have closed our heart and failed to extend the extravagant welcome you have shown us through Jesus. We confess we are hesitant to be open to those we see as different from ourselves. We confess that we enjoy the safety of our comfort zones when you call us to step out in faith to extend your love to all. Forgive us, O oh Lord. Help us to be more welcoming, to be more gracious, and to be more loving to all. Through Jesus Christ, in whom love is made perfect, we pray. Amen.
Through Jesus we find a new life. We carry Jesus's, through Jesus' boundless love, we are forgiven and empowered. We carry Jesus' love with us as we go forth renewed and revived. Praise be to God. Please be seated. Hello, we come now to our time for younger Christians. And hopefully all of our youth and children have received their Sunday school lessons in the mail. Today we're talking about love. And I brought with me one of my children's Care Bears. As they were growing up, they, they truly loved the Care Bears, and they all have hearts on them because their story is about loving. Actually, my oldest son, Drew, liked the Care Bears so much that one year for Halloween, he went as one of the Care Bears' animal friends, Tender Heart Rabbit. And so he had white bunny ears and white rabbit costume and a big heart on his belly. And so as we have this rainbow heart bear to remind us of God's love, I'll read part of our lesson. It's a letter written by Paul, who we've seen and talked about in previous messages in our, our youth series. And he's, in the, he's writing back to the church in a city in Greece called Corinth that he lived in for a while to start the church there. And he tells them about the importance of love. And these are his words, and then some words out of the lesson. If I speak in languages of human beings and of angels, but I don't have love, I'm a clanging gong or a crashing cymbal. Love is the greatest. If I have the gift of prophecy, and I know all mysteries and everything else, and if I have such complete faith that I can move mountains, but I don't have love, I'm nothing. Love is the greatest. If I give away everything that I have and hand over my own body to feel good about what I've done, but I don't have love, I receive no benefit whatsoever. Love is the greatest. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love isn't jealous. Love doesn't brag. Love isn't arrogant. Love isn't rude. Love doesn't think of self before others. Love isn't quick to anger. Love doesn't keep a record of who was wrong. Love isn't happy with injustice. Love is happy to know the truth. Love puts up with all things, trusts in all things, hopes for all things, and endures all things. Love never fails. Now faith, hope, and love, they remain, but the greatest of these is love. Love is the greatest. Let's have a word of prayer together. Lord Jesus, we thank you for showing us the way of your love. Let your love fill each of our hearts and then let us share that love with everyone, especially with our children. For love is the greatest. Amen.
We come now to our time where we share our joys and concerns with one another. Linda went around and collected our joys and concerns, and so on our list, we have concerns and prayers for the friends and family of Anna Mae Turnbaugh, who passed away last night. Continued prayers for Jim Benzel and for Hank Worley for healing. And then also the joy of Jim and Dot's 67th anniversary and for Ruth and my anniversary. Also, we hold in prayer the family of Ruth Shriver Long DiMarino, who passed away in her 90s in March, and her family will be gathering this week for a memorial service and to inter her ashes in our cemetery. And so please hold Norma's family in your prayers as well. Are there any other joys or concerns to bring before the people and before God today? We thank God for the continued blessings of good weather for our outdoor services and pray that our weather will continue to be good while we're outside. Uh, not that I wish to uh, uh, rain on anybody's uh, weekend plans for next week, but if it rains next Sunday, that's okay by me. <laughs> anyway, hopefully we'll have good weather and it'll rain just enough to keep things growing. Let us join our hearts together in prayer. Holy God, we come to you today to lay before you our joys and our concerns. We thank you, O oh Lord, for reunions and for getting back together to share special times for 67 years of faithful love for Jim and Dot and for 40 years of faithful love for me and for Ruth. We ask you, O oh Lord, to be with the friends and family of Annie Mae Turnbaugh and for being with Norma's family as well. We ask you for continued healing for Jim and for Hank and for all those who we have not mentioned by name who continue to be in need of healing. We ask you, O oh Lord, to continue to be with us in this time of pandemic. Keep us safe from the infection Help us to do what is necessary to prevent spreading the infection to others and just send your healing spirit to all those who need it, O oh God, to heal not only physically but emotionally and spiritually as well. Calm our anxieties and fears. Be with those providing care to those who are stricken with the virus. And be with your people here in our land that we may truly share your love with all and that all will know the blessings of liberty equally and fully in this land where we know that you walk with us as you walk with all people in the world, calling us to love one another as you have first loved us. And now in the name of the one who taught us to pray together saying, we pray, our Father who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. We come now to our service of giving, our time for offering as I have all the way through the time of separation and social distancing. I thank all those who have been sending their offerings into the church. Again, thank you for your contributions to our special offerings. And if you have not already had an opportunity to put your offering for today in the offering box behind me, uh, please do so after the service or you can continue to send them into the church but in gratitude for gifts we have received and for gifts that we have yet to receive, let us pray together. Bounteous God, we thank you for the opportunity of sharing your love through returning to you a portion of all you have given us. Bless our gifts so they may be used to help build your beloved community of peace, love, and justice where all are welcomed and cared for. 
In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I'll take an uploading break, and then we will be joined with by Kate for our lectionary gospel reading.